making Louisville safer by investing in the police department. The Metro Police Chief wants nearly $218 million for the 2023 budget. WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine covered the chief, telling Metro Council the money will create safer neighborhoods and a better culture within the department. Bobby? Yes, yeah, some of what Shields is calling for stems directly from the 2021 Hillard Hines review. The Chicago-based company gave more than 100 recommendations on what LMPD should do to improve transparency. Shields says this budget will help realize that goal while creating a safer Louisville. Nearly $218 million. That's the number LMPD Chief Erica Shields says will help Louisville cut down on crime, increase staffing and resources, and create a better overall culture. I believe that we are doing a lot correctly, but we have a lot of work to do ahead of us. Shields presenting the budget proposal in front of Metro Council met with opposition. A woman holding a sign during the three hour briefing that says defund LMPD, also adding justice for Omari, the 25 year old man who was killed on Friday shot by a deputy U.S. Marshal. Shields says overall violent crime is down, but the homicide rate is up 10 percent. Domestic violence victims accounting for about 25 percent. She says many of them had a history of being victims, but weren't on the county's radar. Somehow we need to be finding how to get them the olive branch before they are a victim, a homicide victim. Shields also wants to create three new civilian positions, serving on the Accountability and Improvement Bureau. One will play a role in police training. Another will write curriculum for new recruits and another will serve as an auditor, looking at body camera footage, among other things. Shields was met with pushback on the positions, partly because the department is 300 officers short. But Metro Council time, Member James Peden. It's another body that's not out helping us, like, on the street. The department is lagging in key areas of accountability. It's not made an investment in areas that it should have years ago, and they could have avoided being where we are today. As for the staffing shortage, Shields says the department will start advertising in Chicago and hopefully attract new officers by lowering the on-the-job experience from four years to three. Shields says another reason for this budget is to implement changes the Department of Justice is sure to bring up when it fi finishes its investigation into LMPD, which has been going on since 2020. I'm live in studio, Bobby McSwine for the WHAS 1119 on your side.